there's a house in my attic. Part two. This is how Skyrim dungeons are designed. Our house. In the middle of your house. Our house. Behold, Conga boy. Mm, I think you mean Butter the Slop. And now a quick lesson on how spelling can completely change the meaning of a sentence. OMG, that was a fun morning. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. My brain is running on a monkey with symbols and a bit of anxiety and Red Bull. What about you? Hey, just go up to someone you know and say out of nowhere, just so you know, I'm not gaslighting you. Alternatively, go up to a person that's having a good time and whisper the words, hashtag unreality. Me, when I remember something I said ages ago that was wrong or my values no longer are aligned with. <laughs> I love how 80s cartoon villains can't actually curse, so they say things like nincompoops and fools. Just imagine, like, a six-foot-tall man in the wildest outfit you've ever seen running at you with a laser rifle or something and yelling fool at you at the top of his lungs. Absolutely insane. Yeah, we forgot to teach your boyfriend media literacy, and he completely misunderstood all the themes and narratives. Yeah, the underlying message, too. Hmm. He got tricked into believing in universe propaganda and is writing a long post about it now. Sorry. Hey, Frank, I'm having some difficulty identifying this animal. What is it? A gay guy. Not to alarm anyone, but there is a fictional man loose in my brain. Keep an eye out. I wish all users I don't recognize anymore because they changed their usernames and icons, but I keep following them while mildly confused. A very pleasant evening. You know who you are, which is great because I don't. Back when I used to walk around my college in corduroy blazer and slacks, I didn't call it dark academia. I called it Professor Drag. And the purpose was to smoothly walk into parts of campus I wasn't supposed to access. <laughs> the world is beautiful. We have transgender people and images. And we have sandwiches. I added the Maridan picture because Maridan loves trans people and images. Maridan also loves sandwiches. It's like you didn't even play the game. Tsk, tsk. You know when something goes wrong or something just breaks and you go get someone to hopefully fix it, but as soon as you show it, it just gets magically fixed? Is this a curse or a blessing? You know, Magical Girl shows really did snap when they assigned personality traits based off the members' colors. Pink, commander and the leader, probably really nice and sweet. Blue, probably very close to pink, is either 100% IQ smarty pants, but shy, or very tough and cool. Yellow and orange, very happy and positive, can vary from being newbie of the group to be older and mature, probably known as the beautiful one. Purple, mysterious, usually starts off as a rival or joins the group later, but is definitely known to the members as another magical girl, probably has a softer side they don't show. And don't forget green, more mature and very reliable. And then there's red. Mad. Teletubbies. Okay, but this implies the existence of a lost pink Teletubby, a fallen leader too painful to talk about anymore. Tubby Custard. The amount of women who make their self-inserts fook Vulpus in Culta is astonishing, not just because he's a slaver, but because you meet him in game like this. He looks like a shoe leather, Gajinka. Yeah, he looks like he sells races of door to door. 